I'm Keaton Durbin. I'm Cameron Bullos. We're from Salem, Indiana, and you're watching Live the Thrill. Yellow! Yellow! What's cracking, y'all? We're at the post office. About to drop some packages off for some other truckers that won some stuff. I did some giveaways. We got a lot of giveaways to come up, by the way. I've got a lot of things to give away. But uh, I'm going to drop this stuff at the post office. Uh, grab some lunch and then head back to the house. Uh, upload the vidges and then uh, probably work on those two vidges I didn't film yesterday. And then probably after that. Uh, probably going to town, grab some shit for the trailer. You know, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. What up, bros? So I'm just sitting here uploading the vidges. They, uh, the vlog's going up now. Outlaw's already up, but, uh, I was sitting here, um, doing, I'm getting ready to film uh, a couple intros for the channels. Basically, if I can explain it to you, because they're going to be uploaded as unlisted, so only, like, new viewers will see it unless you, like, actually go to the page and search for it. But, um, it'll basically be, like, a, a vidget that, if a new visitor comes to my channel, they'll see it. It'll be the first thing they see, and it's basically me welcoming to their channel, to my channel. So, that's what I'm going to be filming. But I was looking at the vidges, and I was looking at the Outlaw channel, and remember what I, if, I don't know, hold on, let me flip the screen up. I want to make sure I'm not getting focused here. Okay. So, do you guys remember when I did uh, vlogs on the Outlaw channel, like a year ago? <clears throat> it was around Christmas time. Um, it was a little bit over a year ago. So, <laughs> I, go back and watch, or like, go back and look at the views on all of those. I did it for like, I think it was like 40 days and every single one I think is like almost every single one is over a hundred thousand views and there's some I got what the <laughs> the most viewed one quit dude what are you doing he just attacks the blinds to look outside sometimes but the most popular one is hanging with my ex-girlfriend is what it's called like it was perfect I guess and one day I was just hanging out with my ex-girlfriend and I decided to film it and that video has like 400,000 views. I'm like, holy crap, man. So, it, like, that's what kind of, um, there's, you know, quite a few on this channel with some views and stuff like that, but it's nothing like it was on the Outlaw channel. And me, I'm the type of person, like, I want to come on the video and, like, tell y'all this because I think about this constantly. I am, I'm not, I don't know what you call it, like, hey, dude, stop, man. It's like hypochondriac or, or I don't know what the word is. Maybe y'all will know the word. But it's like when I see something, I like automatically want to. Okay, so like here's a an example with what I was just talking about. I see that all these vlogs on Outlaw are getting so many views that instantly I think maybe I should just make vlogs on Outlaw and just do everything on Outlaw and just quit Live the Thrill. You know what I mean? And, I mean, I'm just like, that's my type of thinking. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, I, it's perfectly fine how it is. But then I'm like, you know, because then if I look at the realization of, okay, if I move all the vlogs over to Outlaw, then where the hell is all the other content going to go? Am I just going to put that on Live to Thrill and that's going to get less views? You know what I mean? So I think about this all the time. And sometimes I don't think it all the way through. But with other things, too, like I see shit on TV and I'm like, I could do that shit. And then I do it. You know what I mean? That's what happened back in the day when I watched... The, I think it was the first season of Deadliest Catch. Back in the day. Like 2007 or... 2007 or something like that. It was when the first season was. 2006, 2007. It was when I was in high school. And uh, I watched it. And uh, I was like, I can do that. After high school, I'm going to Alaska. Fuck, fuck everybody else, man. I'm going to be the best fisherman ever. You know what I mean? And then I'm just, and then I go up to Alaska. I do it for two years, and I'm like, holy fuck, man. Okay, I'm enough of that. You know? So I've got this crap that just—it's always like, you know, it's ridiculous. Or I'll see war movies. Back in the day, when I wanted to be in the Marine Corps, and I was <clears throat> so I wanted to be Force Recon so bad because Force Recon goes in, and their special operations unit, Force Recon, is. But they don't, they're they're different from Navy SEALs where they don't go in and kill. 
like that their 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 um their goal is not to kill that um it's it's more to gather intelligence and that was like my shit you know i wanted to be a spy so bad like that's what i wanted so bad <clears throat> back in the day and um and then it just you know everything changes all the time but i'm always like that i don't know if any of y'all are like that too but you just you freaking see something you're just like okay i'm gonna do it and then or or or, or you change your mind all the time that's what it is i change my mind all the time so it's crazy i can't even help it sometimes i don't even realize that i'm doing it and i've kind of got to talk to myself at some point to be like okay chill out bro you know chill the fuck out so I think it's just the realization that everybody needs to focus on is that sometimes somebody just doesn't know what the tits they want to do and they want to do everything. That's kind of how I've always been. I just want to do everything. Like, that's my goal. I just want to do everything. So, you know, that's how I am. Anyways, vlog's up. I'm going to get the vidges up and then we'll probably start filming. And then, uh, I don't know if we're going to go film right now or if I'm going to just go to Walmart and get the shit for the trailer. We'll see how I feel in a minute. I just looked up. <laughs> I just looked up what the word hypochondriac means because it just sounded right. But uh, hypochondriac <laughs> means a person who is abnormally anxious about their health. So that is not <laughs> not what I was thinking at all. So whatever the tits, the word I was thinking of, that's probably what I am. But it's not hypochondriac. <laughs> so uh, a couple things. I'm supposed to go to the store and get some crap for the trailer because I'm leaving on uh oh banjo's all curled up sleeping what's up buddy uh because I'm leaving on Thursday to go uh uh to Tennessee but you know I gotta go to Walmart for that stuff because that's like the only place around here that sells that crap but I'm like I hate people and I can't stand Walmart like recently the past year I try to avoid Walmart as much as possible. I used to love going. I used to go to Walmart all the time for everything. And now, like, I just can't do it anymore, man. Like, I just hate Walmart. I don't know if any of y'all are like that, but I used to love Walmart. I used to go to Walmart all the time. But now I'm just like, I just do not even want to go close to that place. Um, so I might not even hit, <laughs> hit Walmart tonight. I might just go tomorrow or something like that. I might just get one of my buddies or something to go with me so I don't have to freaking <sighs> look at other people. Anyways... Uh, so, I'm about to start setting up for, uh, this, uh, shoot, and, uh, I gotta get the lighting kit and everything out, but I wanted to show y'all this. The other night when I was filming an outlaw video, when I was outside doing that frog gigging skit, this happened. This is a, uh, light pole, and I don't know if you can see there, but it's broken off, and there's the other spot. Uh, there's the other the light that broke off and everything and that's because banjo freaking jumped across the cord thing slipped and this thing just snapped in half so these are really good lights but the freaking poles are just pieces of shit so now uh, that was like the main light too so i don't know if i'm gonna have to i don't know i might have to freaking try to order a new tripod for the light which would be a pain in the ass but I think I gotta make it work for now. Also, another thing that happened with Banjo's last night, if you watched the video yesterday, you know that uh, his bed, he, uh, when I was giving, before I gave him a bath, he pissed on his bed, he was all freaking nervous. So I put it through the wash last, uh, so he has one of those Realtree camo beds, and I put it through the wash, I couldn't find a zipper on it, right, to like unzip the actual coating of the thing, the bed. Well, I put it through the wash with like everything, the whole bed in the wash and then I put it in the dryer and it completely exploded in the dryer and ripped to shreds and then I found the zipper <laughs> after it was already ripped to shreds so yeah now he needs a new bed so I reckon if I ever do go to Walmart I'll get that some bitch as well but just got the vidges up so we'll start working on these uh these vidges now and uh then we'll uh we'll see where we're at from there drop it Drop it. Back. 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 Nice catch. Good boy. Here you go. Drop it. Drop it. Back. 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 Get back. <laughs> <laughs> he just spins. Drop it. Drop it. Sit. High five. Give me a high five.
Get back. Go back. Back. There you go. <laughs> Good boy, man, Joe. Good boy. All right, drop it. Drop it. Ah, you love your frisbee, don't you? You love it, don't you? All right. Uh, first things first. I gotta get. Oh, I got this blanket up here. Um, I gotta. Get, man, I've had this hunting gear in the back of my truck, like all of it, from down, down the way, down over yonder, uh, for like two weeks. Ever since pretty much my tonsils are out, so it's still in the back of the bourbon. I gotta go clear that crap out. So I'm. Uh, I don't know where the tits. I'm gonna freaking put all of it. Probably have to put it on the back deck for now, but uh, I might just park the bourbon back there and unload that crap, but I'm not even going to film that. There's so much shit to do. Uh, I was just going through some fan mail, brought all the hunting gear in and crap like that. The rest of it's on the back porch, but uh, Banjo was helping me go through it. So I thought I'd give you all a couple shout outs here really quick. So first of all, Abby uh, from Kansas sent uh, these two pictures. Drew the Outlaw logo there, then she drew this awesome picture of Banjo. Thought that was kind of cool. So, good old freaking Banjo. Banjo, why are you so black, dude? You can't even see in the camera. You have to smile. <laughs> and then I want to give a big old thanks to Jillian and Justin Fox, that happily married couple. Uh, they sent me a uh, two letters. They sent me one with a kind of recovery surgery type thing. Just feel better and connect these dots. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny. So they sent me that card. And then they also sent me an uh, old belt buckle, which was Justin's old one, I guess. This old redneck belt buckle, which is kind of cool. And then uh, the old Jose Outlaw Josie Wales, which is my favorite movie. Which I already have three copies of these. <laughs> I actually have been sent this probably more than any, but anything else. Like, people just send me this. And I'm like, and I'm, now I just have, like, I think this is my fourth copy now. Or this is my third, I think. So... I've seen the movie plenty of times, my favorite movie, so I appreciate that. And then uh, also got um, a nice letter here from Kelsey. She wanted me to shout her out. Uh, there's her freaking Instagram there, Kelsey Marajeratata. She is Tatas. Yeah, I don't know. She does some sprint car work, or work on sprint cars or stuff like that. Um, and then I got a leather letter from what's this dude's name? Uh, some bitch Andrew in Kansas and he sent me this American flag that Earl Dibbles Jr. signed it's pretty cool um, and uh, said some other funny stuff in the letter so anyways there was a bunch of other letters but I can't get to every single one but I appreciate that uh, for sending me all the stuff PO box is always below I also wanted to tell you all this if you've been watching the vlogs for a while remember this past summer when I was in Florida filming the yuppie folks can't survive music video with bottleneck I left my belt my favorite belt and belt buckle in the bathroom while I was changing out of the clothes when we were heading south in Florida. I left it at a gas sta in a gas station bathroom, and uh, I was really pissed. Remember that? And I don't know if you guys remember, but a, a mother trucker actually sent me the the belt buckle that I had was a Copenhagen uh, was a Copenhagen snuff belt buckle, and a mother trucker sent me one of these. This one here which is the golden one, but I used to have the silver one. So this is the golden one that he sent me here. This is my old belt, but I wanted to show y'all. I actually went and uh, got pretty much this, almost the same exact setup as I had last time. So I got me the old Copenhagen uh, silver belt buckle, which is the one I like, because it's the same color of snuff. So that's, that's the really cool one. And then I got me a new belt. And it's got the outlaw engraved on there. But this time, it, instead of all the Western stuff, it's got Deer, would you focus, you son of a dick? Gosh dang, man. It's got deer running through the woods. Ugh. And then it's got big old bucks on it and stuff like that, so. I freaking dig it. Got this on some leather store online. They do like custom made. Oh, GavereLeather.net. Yeah, made in the USA. I freaking, I'm getting really fat. And I probably should have got a belt size up, but uh. I think it'll work for now. Anyways, I'm getting ready to film here. Got the lighting set up. We got the camera set up. You can see yourself. Yeah, we're getting ready. We got the broken light set up. <laughs> it's working just fine as a backlight. I'm gonna go ahead and film this. I think I'm gonna wait to film the Live a Thrill intro tomorrow when it's actually light out. I think I'm gonna do it in a little bit different way than this one so they're not exactly the same, you know? So. Might just do the outlaw one now. <clears throat> See how it works out. All right, just finished, and uh, the only thing that I learned while filming that some bitch is that my gosh dang yellow mud joke freaking reeks. 
Holy crap, I was spitting it the whole gosh dang time I was puked. I gotta clean this some bitch out. Alright, so uh ooh, I'm black now. Um Yeah, just finished that some bitch up. I'm gonna go and edit that thing. You guys will probably see it whenever this is up. Um I might just tweet out the link. It's going to be listed as unlisted so it doesn't show up in the sub box. It'll only show up for new visitors if they're not subscribed. So uh, you can go ahead and um, I'll tweet out the link. Check my Twitter or Facebook. Uh, other than that, you can see it somehow on there, I reckon. I don't know. But uh, I'll have one up for Live to Throw on this channel as well. So uh, Right now I'm going to go edit. Uh, then I'm probably, probably going to hit the gym. I'm not going to go to Walmart tonight. I'm just going to do that tomorrow. All right, y'all, getting ready to hit the gym. Gonna make me up a protein shake. Take my vitamins. Uh, <laughs> I always go to the gym like really late at night, so nobody's there. Just like I was talking about earlier, I hate freaking people. So I apologize for that. But um, My freaking hair. What in the tits is up with my freaking hair? When I'm growing it out and stuff, like, you know, usually I'll like spike it or whatever, right? But now that it's getting longer, I can't really do that as much. So now I'm just going around looking like a peacock. Woo, smoky. go when I had my tonsils taken out and stuff I wasn't able to drink anything but water or my freaking throat would burn like not even juice I figured like I'd buy a bunch of juice because I figured that always usually helps a sore throat but not when your tonsils are out because there's like acidic shit in it and it freaking burns but um, I, uh, I just drank water like that's the only thing that felt good so the day I could actually start probably drinking stuff that wasn't water was uh, about a week ago and I was in town and I got a uh, I think it was a Dr. Pepper or something right and I drank it and I felt like shit like absolute shit man and I my, my body already felt pretty different after the couple weeks of me after the tonsil surgery just because of uh, um you know, pretty much eating healthy, not eating that much really, because I wasn't able to eat much. I lost probably like six, seven pounds. So I'm going to the gym, probably trying to put some damn weight back on. But uh, I, I, uh, I just felt like absolute crap. And I didn't really think it was, you know, the soda or anything like that. So I kept drinking soda. I bought like a 12 pack or something at the store when I was there, and I kept drinking the soda. So every single time I keep drinking this soda, like automatically like afterwards like I start just feeling like crap in my stomach and like just my I feel like uh, my energy level just goes down after like it's a crash of some sorts you know what I mean so I was like you know what screw it. I threw all my soda out and I'm just drinking water and I've been only drinking water for the past uh, for the past well, I guess three weeks now and uh, I'm just I'm not you know I used to just drink soda all the freaking time, man. Like, I mean, it's like a legit addiction, man. Um, not just to, not just to caffeine, but to the sugar. And uh, right now, I'm kind of, you know, I've got a kind of an excuse because, you know, when your tonsils are out, you don't, you can't really drink soda. So, but I'm just telling y'all right now, like, if you can, freaking cut soda out of your damn diet, man, and just drink water. Or, I drink tea every once in a while. Um, sweet or green tea or something like that. You know, every once in a while. I don't just only drink water all the time. I don't I don't ever put that pressure on myself because I feel like if, and I think this for a lot of people, if they put that kind of pressure on themselves, you know, then they just end up failing anyway. So I never put that much pressure on myself. So I drink other things too, but I'm not drinking that soda shit anymore, man. It's, it just made me feel absolute shitty. So ever since this tonsil thing, man, I've been eating a lot healthier or drinking 
everything just water and I've been eating a little bit healthier, but what ifs? Done preaching to y'all, just saying that I feel better and uh, water is good for you and it's pretty much free to get in your faucet, so that's nice. Unless you <laughs> unless you live out in the middle of nowhere and you're off a nasty well that cows drink out of. <laughs> That's how bad it is. My freaking water. Ew, my water's all right. Like it's, you know, it's clean, but it has like, you know, every once in a while during the summer, like it has a little stench to it, but it's clean, you know. Uh, but anyways, all right, I'm gonna hit the gym. I'll quit yakking at you. <laughs> Oh, dang, y'all. That's a good freaking workout, man. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. Uh, just a lot of freaking filming crap, but, uh, should be going to get some more things tomorrow. It should, uh, the, the week should freaking, um, get better at the end of it when we hit Tennessee and stuff, and, uh, then the trips will start happening, the trailer will be used, and the fun stuff is to come. By the way, a lot of cool stuff coming already planned for uh, uh, nothing like after that that after workout dip, especially when you work as hard as me, right? That was freaking that was a hard workout, y'all saw. Um, but uh, my I'm pretty sure my whole family is going to Florida in June for like a couple weeks, uh, beginning of June. So I'm gonna meet up with them. I wanted to spend like a whole month in Florida this summer, so we're gonna be doing that for sure going all over the state doing some stuff with the family as well and then um so you know they're going to be there for a couple weeks as well so we'll be doing a bunch of fun stuff there that's this summer though but you can look forward to that i'm already looking forward to it just because it's like summer year around there anyways i just love florida man do you guys think i should move to florida with how much i freaking praise florida i mean i was born in florida somewhat raised in florida i moved back to florida after high school I love it. They're, the only problem I have with going to Florida, look at me, going out on, just carrying on, always. Some on the lands. Um, I, I just, something about Florida, man. I love it. it. The only thing I don't like about Florida is that uh, it's like far away from everybody. I pretty much know like the soldiers and Ed Pryor and stuff that I work on with, you know, things with. You know, I'd have to fly pretty much. I'm convenient where I'm at, but especially with the farm and everything, but man, I just love Florida so much, man. I want to get some land out there or something, you know? But me and commitments don't mix, so I probably won't, so. Uh, anyways, I reckon we'll see you it's tomorrow. My name is Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. I love you sons of dicks. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you had blast watching this video. <laughs> and uh, let me, actually, let me know which, uh, since we're always talking about the previous vlogs and stuff that I've always done, let me know which vlog you've had most blast watching. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Till tomorrow, live to thrill. Let's fly off the road. Live to thrill, bitch! <laughs>